What's up, guys? Back here on the show talking basketball here with Kevin McPherson, our Hoops Insider from Hogville.net. Kevin, Bryce Thompson has an Arkansas offer. He's from the class of 2020. Took that unofficial to Arkansas on Tuesday. What's up with him? Big time five-star player out of Booker T. Washington in Tulsa. You know, the previous staff was on him and offered him, but when uh, Eric Musselman hired uh, Chris Crutchfield away from Oklahoma to associate head coach at Arkansas, uh, this was a guy that's been, on, been in uh, with Thompson uh, from the beginning at Oklahoma. He's known him since he was a baby. And to get him on, a, on campus for an official visit, uh, Tuesday was big because it sandwiched in between an, an unofficial visit to North Carolina, and then after his Arkansas visit, he, he took an unofficial visit to Kansas. So we know that when you're keeping company with schools like that, you're talking about a big time player, national top 25, five star, like I said, a six four shooting guard, and a guy that really raised his profile in the spring. And he had a strong MBPA top 100 camp a couple of weekends weekends ago in Charlottesville, Virginia, with our Arkansas's entire staff on hand to see him. And so to be able to get him on campus, I know his dad is Rod Thompson has told me that they're looking to take an, another official visit in his senior year sometime in the fall to Arkansas. Jalen Williams front court player took an unofficial to Arkansas that was on Wednesday had to go well again you know we we're starting to stack up the visits for the high school prospects I mean really it's been grad transfers and transfers up until this past week and Jalen Williams was the first in-state player to take an unofficial visit to Arkansas class of 2020 610 forward center out of Fort Smith north side uh, another guy that's raised his profile in the spring uh, playing on the grassroots Nike EYBL circuit where he finishes the second leading rebounder almost uh, ten and a half rebounds per game but uh, he's picked up a lot of offers Auburn, Texas, A&M, Illinois, but for him to go to Arkansas, take that unofficial visit, he told me that visit went well and he's looking at he'll most likely take an official visit to Arkansas probably during basketball season. Really excited about this guy as well, Jalen Ricks, 6'6 six, six wing, has a Ridgeback offer. He took an unofficial, that was on Thursday, Kevin. Right, he got his offer on that on that visit, and you know he's a young man that starred at Sylvan Hills, class of 2021. He's the first in-state prospect in that class to pick up an Arkansas offer. Uh, but he he's played at Sylvan Hills the last two years. He just announced yesterday he will be uh, playing next season at prestigious Oak Hill Academy in Virginia. And there's a lot of really good basketball players that have come through that program, uh, and it's a place that he can actually uh, continue to get better and improve, going up against high-level competition. Okay, 2022, Nick Smith Jr. has an offer from. Markets as a combo guard. He had a huge week last week at the Nike Elite 100 camp. 6'3 combo guard out of Sylvan Hills. Plays for 16 and under Brad Bill Elite, so he's playing up at age level and led that team in scoring on the circuit, 16 points per game, but had a double double in scoring and assist last week at Nike Elite camp. And the team he played for won the five on five competition there, the championship. But uh, his profile had already had an Oklahoma State offer, Tulsa, Oral Roberts, but Arkansas assistant coach Corey Williams reached out to him, uh, his dad, on Friday and Saturday. Saturday at the end of the week and on Saturday the offer was made so Nick Williams a super talented uh, player like I said he's a probably an alpha score with the ability to really see the floor so he can facilitate for others as well. Ithiel Horton this guy I saw his highlights the kid is transferring from Delaware he can really get to the rack and he can shoot it as well. This guy's going to visit, I believe, on Monday, right? He's planning to take an official visit tomorrow. I'm, I'm told that there's still some paperwork and compliance things that are being worked through, uh, but it, assuming that gets completed, he will be on an unofficial visit on Monday to Arkansas. Today, he's taking an unofficial visit to Pittsburgh, uh, but, but the plan is to get him on campus. A freshman last year made the uh, Colonial Athletic Association all-freshman team. He also made the all-tournament, postseason all-tournament team. Last four games of the year, he was 21 of 38 from three, over 55%. All right, Khalil Garland, great story he wrote there on Hogville. I want to talk about him because he's a student assistant now at Arkansas, shifts into that role, and we all know he had the medical issues that prevented him from playing for the Razorbacks. The kid out of Little Rock Parkview really can play, and we saw out of high school that this guy was ranked by ESPN in the top 60. Yeah, he was a big time player and he came in with Daniel Gafford and Darius Hall. At the time, I thought it was the really the strongest recruiting class, not only under Mike Anderson, uh, but maybe in years at Arkansas. And it just didn't pan out for those guys to ever get on the court together. Garland never got cleared. Uh, but when I talked to him, he's really looking forward to his opportunities uh, as a assi student assistant, but also f completing his education. Hey, uh, he wants to maybe get into coaching or even sports broadcasting. So he's a guy with a great personality. He's always on social media and he has a lot to say about a lot of things. So he's an interesting 
young man, a great young man from a great family in Little Rock. Uh, but Khalil Garland, you know, Razorback fans really missed out on seeing a great talent if they didn't get to see him in high school at Parkview. But he's, uh, you know, he's pointed toward big things and, and as he moves forward, great attitude. And he said this situation really helped show him that basketball doesn't define him and he's going to be fine. And I thought that, you know, was a great thing coming from uh, a, a, a great young man. So much upside to Khalil Garland. Great piece again. I want to commend you for that. Stay with us.